Yo, what's up? You got your boy Direct, aka Native Shades, reminding you to like and subscribe. And today we're gonna be talking about Akai Akai Akai, our friendly neighborhood Akai. Akai has just been stirring up news of late. What's going on? Well, our favorite neighborhood Akai recently released the MPCX. SE edition, which is, yes, ladies and gentlemen, yet again, another NPC. Now you would think folks would be ecstatic. Wow, a new NPC. But no, <laughs> Cats is tired. They're getting tired of this Akai. They are tired of the same software in a different box. Now in previous years, it, it was accepted, you know, after the MPC X and the MPC Live, when the MPC One came out, it was like a, a cheaper, affordable MPC. So people accepted it. They were like, wow, yeah, I can enter the MPC universe for just $800. Great, you know? When the MPC Live 2 came out, they had a speaker in the MPC. So it was like, great, this is kind of different. I don't got to hook up my speaker cables or anything to it. Well, I, I got a built-in speaker right here. When the MPC keys was released, hey, I got a keyboard sampler. Something I've always wanted. Hooray. <laughs> so everybody was happy with most of the previous MPC releases. But this seems to be the end of the line because with this new MPC XSE, Folks is tired. They're tired now. <laughs> they want something new. And the main complaint right now is the sound. And I'm not gonna lie, for the past several years, Akai's sound has been the same, but mainly it's because it's the same software in a different box. Now, in the past, the MPC 500 doesn't sound like the MPC 5000. That doesn't sound like the MPC 4000, and that doesn't sound like the MPC 3000. You know, all these MPCs of the past had pretty much different sound engines only because they were made at different times and you would have different teams creating a totally new operating system. Well, of later, Kai has just been using the same one and just been throwing different features, but not really changing the sound. The good thing is this, Akai has always been a company that has listened to its user base. That's why they're the king of the hill now. It's because they listen to their user base. So right now your user base is saying that we're tired of the sound. We want something different. So let's see what Akai does. Let's see how they answer the call. So this is your boy Direct, AKA Native Shades reminding you to like and subscribe and I'm signing off.